So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. It wouldn't work, so I hit skip. Stupid thing wouldn't be placed. Oh, what's this? There it is. Because you're just going to be able to lift that shit up. There we go. Fire extinguisher. I'm just taking everything I can. Just in case we need it. Okay, we're good. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need <laughs> a fire extinguisher. Which I have. The fire extinguisher. Now let us see what we have here. The steam whistle is ready to be used. And that's what starts the... So you just had guys pumping it and they used... Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surrounding. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. <laughs> it's all good, man. Don't need to bitch about it. Oh, hard work. Never hurt anybody. Vanished earlier. The train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a hand car and a spare tire part, spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. Well, that's a given. So a lot of people we could we could suspect. What the fuck? Watson, what are you doing? I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Well, right now you're in the ground. That's what I'm wondering. Watson is glitched out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. All right, well, you're going to be used to the rest of the night. So we'll just go. <laughs> Talk to the drunk, maybe. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Hey, there he is. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Workers. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. What a stupid idiot fuck. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? Seriously, fire this chap. Let's see. 
So that's done. What do we do now? Search archives. A common map of this railway. So we have to go back to the archives. Should be in the train car. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Okay, where's that big body of water? It's up here. It's different though, so let's look around. Here it is. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham. And there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. So you basically go to each one. A detailed route including all the branches in the district. Alright, examine the side railway branch. So you have to examine them all. Where are we now? Are we in, uh... I think, yeah, we're in, we're in Bridlington right now, I think. Or Chesterfield. I'm not sure, man. Um, let me just see my objectives again. So it wants me to examine the side railway. So I just have to go to the mall, so just pick one. And then we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look. The switch is rusted, but it still works. I'm trying to see if uh One second. Um, so is that done then? So I think that's done then. Okay, fine. God, I can't remember if we were there or not. Like, oh shit. People were very patient back then, weren't they? A lot of back and forth bullshit. Wait a minute, this is where I was, wasn't it? I was at Chesterfield. Yeah, fuck me. Okay. See, oh, see, I've already done it. So now I have to go to the station here. And then Evesham. And then that'll be everything, I think.
Okay. I don't think I've been at this station yet. Let's go say hello. A funny character. He looks anxious. And... He's smoking a cigar. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, I... Yeah, yeah. Same old, same old. Aha! Look. Got to connect that ever so. I'm just trying to see where it lines up. That seems like the most logical. It just seems like that right there is the best bet. I don't get all this shit applies, man. Like, seriously, I don't get it. Oh, now I see it. Okay. Okay, I got it. It's all about how you look at it. Okay, one second. Aha, right? I see it, I just can't. Oh. A greenish brown cigar with okay. a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. And he just threw it on the ground. He wasn't even done. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. 
Someone was smoking that. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. What's this all about? Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is... Yeah, yeah. Are we done here, then? The suspicious man at Doncaster Station was smoking Ricardo Turrent. Expensive Mexican cigars of excellent quality. Spent the last few days there. That's weird. Wouldn't you get bored? Okay, Watson, get the fuck out of the way. A lot of this stuff is kind of useless. Dude be stepping out back. Did he completely leave? Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdle, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Hmm. Oh, we're not done here. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. So they were probably trying to get the train insurance that they paid for and get something back. A telegraph. I love how there's one at each station. Okay, let's go all back. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Let me just research a little bit before we get carried away. Here already. Railway post bags. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. Let's check it out. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to show you that I shall soon honor all the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debts. Uh-oh. Not good, bro. A letter to wife? The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. My darling, I ask that you trust me in, in this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Hmm. Sounds like your grapes have been crushed, bruh. This must be the station manager. A uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. Ah! I'll talk to him now. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. I think you're lying about that. You're in debt, bro. I've already gone through your mail. <laughs> Anything else? Something about well, being well-dressed? Oh, he's missing a button.
ring mark. So financial trouble. How did I miss? Aha, no watch. Flooded area. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so, but it is strange. Because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Passengers? Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? Sorry, I was distracted. Um. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fuck. Hold on. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that the your horse race is my bad. I don't know what I, I was tripping. Your pardon? Addiction to what? The, the horse racing tickets. We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. He's right. There but... was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. How it long have you been outside? We inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. 